out there. The tight end, we give them a lot of good looks. And we all special in our own unique way. So we all giving like, you know, the coaches different opportunities to choose from who to put in and what situation to put us in at. Between you and Malcolm, two seniors, feel like I've got a lot of, you know, experience out there, a lot of veteran leadership. Yeah. No, we do. Like and um everyone that's under us, they soaking in. Everybody, you know, they just paying attention to whatever we say, whatever we do. They you know, they they more of um follow by example. So whatever we show them to do out there, they go follow suit. So we got to – it's on us to do well and, you know, being a good example. Coach Salas did talk about the versatility that you guys have. Just uh, what all do you see when you get, when you get in, the, in, in the meeting room and stuff with all those different types of bodies, different types of, uh, I guess, athletes in there? What are all the things that y'all can do? Like I said, like we all got our own unique skill set, like specifically, you know, Malcolm Moore of the, um, the receiving – Tight end, you know. I'm more versatile, you know. Um, we got we got different looks. And Gus, Gus, he's more like a wide out tight end, you know. And Hutch, he 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 like the he getting he the big body, you know. He like the 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 six seven tight end, and you know BJ got his his background with wide receiver too. So everybody everybody brings something different to the table. You talked about Hutch. So we've heard a lot about him. Runyates talked about him. I mean, just what are Mississippi State fans are going to be expecting from this kid this year? A uh, big guy that can play ball. You know, you know, because you know, me and Michael, we 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 in the six three range. You know, like area like that. This six seven coming down the field. You know, it's a big target. You know, so, something that you can use in the red zone and can block as well. So you know. How much has the tight end position changed since you've been here? Because early on in your career here, y'all had a fullback and stuff, and now a lot of that role kind of shuffled over to you guys. Yeah, we actually take up for what the fullback was taking out at. So our role expanded. Like like Cosell always say, ain't nobody on the field other than the quarterback on offense no more than the tight end have to know. So we pretty much the second most intelligent, you know, offensive <laughs> player on the, on the field. So. That how I take it as a compliment. And I think Dak talked about how he was going to look at y'all a whole lot more. There might be a big role in this offense this year to be successful. Just talk about that, maybe taking a little bit bigger role in the offense. Right. We um we going to take a bigger role because simply we have more depth. You know, we actually got five guys that's eligible to play this year. You know what I mean? That more likely going to have to play this year. You know, or, or unless you had to lose a, a year of eligibility, but. We got to find something to do with all, all five of us that got to play this year. So, How has Dak's improvement expanded, what you guys are able to do as a unit? Is he able to find you in ways that he couldn't before? It actually, you know, Dak have a lot of confidence in us. So he trusts, like, as soon as we break out of our routes that we're going to be open because we watching on film that a lot of the guys we getting open and, and he don't want to miss any opportunity. So it's really about trusting out of practice.